Okay, Adrian, we've been challenged to list 30 Green Party achievements in two minutes. My first one is going to be better housing for Bristol's children in care. Right, lots to pick from. I'll start with our work to save local bus services in Suffolk. What next? Lower council tax bills for the poorest residents in our borough. Greens have implemented a clean air zone in Sheffield. In the House of Lords, we defeated the worst of the government's anti-protest laws. Insulating homes to bring down people's energy bills and create green jobs here in Norfolk. 150 heat pumps instead of oil boilers in Mid-Suffolk. Bringing more affordable houses back into use in Burnley. Setting up a community garden in Norwich. Tackling air pollution in our city. OK, how many is that? Supporting the local community and parish councils in saving their surgery. Tackling fly tipping hotspots. In Exeter, I've worked with council tenants to get vital home repairs done. I've been cleaning our communities, improving our green spaces and helping residents feel safer in Newport. Um... A budget of £75,000 to help the community in Lyme Regis transition to net zero by 2030. Powering the future with solar panels on new homes in the wire forest. I've got the government to stop discriminating against young care leavers and rough sleepers so they've got more money to put a roof over their heads. A youth employment hub in Brighton and Hove. Green's campaign to save 30 family homes from demolition in our town. In Stroud, we're investing 180 million to decarbonise our housing stock. There's lots of great examples of Greens improving transport in their local areas too. Free buses every weekend for everybody everywhere in Herefordshire, thanks to our coalition. We're really pleased there's a safe crossing at the Red Lion. And I worked with my community to stop HGVs going through our villages at unsociable hours. And making sure our much-loved green spaces are protected. Provide much-needed education on the natural world and create just another reason for people to visit our wonderful districts. A rewilding project that's boosting nature across our whole district. Campaigning to save ancient woodlands. We've planted over 500 new trees in a single village in Derbyshire. New Climate Change Committee at the Bletchley and Fanny Stratford Town Council. Dave three acres of Riverside Biodiversity Corridor in Stowmarket, Suffolk. We're fighting to save this woodland and meadow from becoming more of these warehouses. 30 green achievements in two minutes. Nice one.